What's up guys, Master Gamer here bringing you guys another video. Today's video is going to be the most fun one of the week. This is going to be the fun golden tickets. These are going to be the ones that are really at, they're pretty creative. And overall, it's if you're playing Madden right now in May, and you just want to have fun, these are the cards that you're going to want to make. We're just going to start right off. Kicker Bo Jackson. Now, why Kicker Bo Jackson? Well, quite simply, he has all the stats of quarterback. But you could play him at kicker. So, here's what we do. We boost his throw power. We boost... Where is it? Where are the throwing stats? Throw short, throw mid, throw deep. Then you have options, right? You can obviously boost any of the running stats. I wouldn't because he's kind of already got there. I'd probably just boost speed. Yeah. I just boost speed. And here's what this allows you to do. This allows you to have super fakes at kicker first off. Like your kicker is just going to be doing the uh, the kicker flip kick, whatever the uh, that fake is called. And you're just going to be trucking everybody. Like free touchdowns on free touchdowns. Three extra points. So, that's really good. Not to mention, if you play salary cap, because he's a kicker, his salary cap is actually going to be lower. So you're going to get a god at quarterback for a low salary cap. Which would be nuts. I think this would be one of the most fun cards to use. A few years back, we had the um, the Golden Ticket Donald pen. Very similar to that. That's kind of what I'm going for with this list. Just fun ideas. Bo Jackson at kicker would be a fun one. More than you would expect when you initially hear Bo Jackson kicker. Now, most of these are going to be oop because that's the easiest way to do it. I feel like. Now, this is where it gets interesting. You have a few options. Um, where? Where's the one that I'm looking for though? I was really hoping I could just find it on here. Be a little lazy. We're, we're not gonna get him. Gonna, we're not gonna give up. I believe. Larry Allen. Larry Allen. Larry Allen. Larry Allen. I would have sworn it was Larry Allen, but it wasn't. It was an offense. They're both an offense. Where was it? Oh. There, there's one. Too tall, tight end. I don't know how much more obvious it can get. I mean, he's 6'9". I don't know what even that'll give you on offense, but you throw a high ball to a 6'9 player, he's just going to do something stupid. So, it can't be bad, right? He's already got 88 run block, 95 strength. He's already going to be good. So you boost speed, you boost catching. Catching traffic, spec catch. And then you have an option. Agility, Excel, um, Jump, Truck, or you boost the route running. Now, I think you would get the route running based off upgrades you would get to 76. So, I wouldn't personally, I would probably boost this truck. So then you could air truck with a 6 9 player. And again, this is the fun list. I would do truck. So, go, again, going to less. It would be speed, catching, catching traffic, spec catch, and truck. When you see a 6 9 player with truck running at you, I really just want to know what what you what happens. Like, do they just, like, fly out the way? Like, do they, like, in the, uh, the old Dragon Ball games, they just get a whole separate, like, um, like a cutscene cuts to them and just flying through the sky, eventually just going straight to a mountain, cracking the mountain, keep going. I don't know what happens when you get trucked by a 6 9 player, but I want to find out. So I think this would be a really fun card to use. Again, having a 6 9 offensive player would be crazy, especially at the tight end spot. Especially, again, especially, again, especially, especially in the red, red zone, zone where you can just have ball to him. This would actually be a really good player to have, regardless of the, the fun that it would bring. But uh, again, this is. And you go back to chemistry. Oh, you know what? I didn't say chemistry on the. Uh, on the bow. But there you really have options. I personally would use Conductor. 
Well. No, I'll probably use Gunslinger, because I think he has a bad throwing animation. I don't remember exactly. I'll probably just do Gunslinger, though. On two tall. Again, you have options. This one is battle ready. For the love of God, don't give him battle ready. Maybe never stumble, because he's so tall that he might stumble a lot. That wouldn't, that, that wouldn't be a bad option. Playmaker. I'll probably do Playmaker. Good, I'm, I'll just go down most of the chemistries real quick. But, more than likely, I mean... Playmaker makes the most sense. Um, maybe Skr Pass Walker. It wouldn't be bad. But, yeah. Probably just Playmaker. Then, the final card. Once I find it. It's gotta be here somewhere. Yes! Larry Allen. Fullback. You boost his speed. You boost his agility. You boost his excel. You probably boost his catching. At least I would. You boost his spin move. Yeah, catching. That, that was perfect. Exactly five. So similar to the two tall idea with truck. Let me just, I have to search this, hold on, one second guys. I need to actually give you guys the exact amount that Larry Allen weighs, which in some form factors into the truck. Where is it? He weighs 335 pounds. So, he's a big boy. This dude will be running over everyone. Just, like, he's got the out my way coming offense. Like, he's just running over everyone. This card would be a ton of fun to use. I mean, obviously, you put him at running back when you play with him. You have, first off, you have Larry Allen running at like 95 speed, which would be hilarious to watch. But, well, it'd probably end up being like 90 speed, realistically. I don't think they'd give him that much speed because he's technically a fullback. But, I think this card would be a ton of fun. Having Larry Allen at running back would be crazy. And I mean, that's really what this list is about. It's just about having fun. So, this card would be great. And again, let's take a look at the chemistries that we can put on them. You have options. You have identified, which you don't really need. Um, playmaker, but his receiving sets are kind of eh, so again, don't really need. Secure pass blocker would be interesting, but he's already kind of got high pass block for some strange reason. Can't figure out why. What I would probably put on him would be never stumble. Or just to troll and put give him out my way. And then on kick return, when he's on there, he's just getting him out of his way. That's an option. But that being said, it isn't the last option. There is one more option. The true man of the people option. The option unlike any other option. His name is George. His last name, Fant. With Playmaker. You've seen it before. You've seen him in most of the videos on this channel. Fant is a Playmaker. But you know what's missing? That red P. Where's the Playmaker camp? The people need the playmaker camp. It's just that simple. So we give it to him. Playmaker. Fant. Run block. Impact block. Speed. Catching. And acceleration. That's it. With playmaker. 
and you have created the greatest card. I mean, really the greatest thing to ever be created in this generation. When you talk about playmakers, the first word that has to come to mind is George Fant, or word player, rather, not word. So, that being said, it would only make sense to make a playmaker fan. And again, if you need proof of the playmaker status that fan has reached, just check out any of my other videos. You'll see that this guy's a playmaker. Not the Wildcat Challenge, got a little farther back. But, he's a playmaker. And playmakers make plays. That's what he'll do for you. George Fan. That being said, it's been the Master Gamer. And I'm out.